So let's cover. So there's not enough. Let's cover this this myth, or this lie, or this lie. excuse. Lie. It's a lie. It, it's a lie. You. Or the excuse that that we give ourselves okay. that there's just not enough customers. Not enough customers. Okay. okay. Hey hey hey, plumbing pros! Welcome to the 402nd episode of Potty Talk. Hey, we're starting a four part series. Yep. Where we're going to be debunking some some uh, nasty myths that we have about our plumbing business. Mm, all right. Okay. You know, such as, you know, my, my customers won't pay that. <laughs> have you said that before? Have you, you know, we've heard it a lot. <laughs> we've heard my it customers lot. won't pay that. Or, <laughs> or I just can't make any money mm-hmm. with this, with this plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, here's one of my favorites. There just aren't any plumbers out there. There's no, no mm. good plumbers to I hire. I can't find any plumbers. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's one of the myths out there. Okay. Also, um, there's just not enough plumbing customers in my area. <laughs> okay. In fact, that's where we're going to start today. Here. Yeah. All right. In this okay. episode. Okay. Okay. We're going to not gonna, enough plumbing customers. Not enough plumbing customers in in my area. Okay. okay? Or just not enough plumbing customers. Okay. okay. That's one of the myths out there. In fact, you know that, that you know the title of this uh, episode is um, you know debunking you know myth number one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not enough plumbing customers. And in fact, there could be a subtitle. Because this is really kind of where, where this kind of stuff leans to. It's a different way of thinking. Mm-hmm. We got to stop thinking like a plumber, mm-hmm. okay, and start thinking like a plumbing business owner mm-hmm. or a CEO. Yes. Okay, because really that's what the, you know, these myths, um, you know, are really, really lies, okay, that we like to tell ourselves mm-hmm. or, you know, they're kind of a, a super, you know, superstition. Super. A superstition. Very superstition. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, basically, they're excuses. Yeah. Okay, so when th- things happen, we, and, and these excuses and these lies and these these myths make us feel more comfortable mm-hmm. about because it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault, <laughs> right? It goes right to that. It's accepting responsibility. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so again, that's kind of the underlying theme here. Mm-hmm. Not not and not to say that some of these things aren't um, oh. reality in, in to some degree, but um, you work the problem, right? right. You, you own a business, so. With owning a business comes different challenges, we'll say, yes. air quotes, right? Right. Um, but you have to work the problem. that It's your business now. There's nobody else to turn to. So you got to work right. the problem. All right. Mm-hmm. So let's cover. So there's not enough. Let's cover this this myth or this lie or this lie. excuse. Lie. It's a lie. It, it's a lie. You. Or the excuse that, that we give ourselves okay. that there's just not enough customers. Not enough customers. Okay. okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at it. Okay. All right. Point number one we want to make. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Point number one. <laughs> all right. Have it come across the, the bottom there. Mm-hmm. All right. Plum for the right customers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plum for the right customers. Mm-hmm. All right. It, it, everyone's not your customer. Okay. First of all, there, there are lots of customers if you're plumbing for the right customer. Correct. There's innumerable Right. Innumerable. Right, exactly. Almost in infinite amount. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if you just start, you know, as you're driving around your town, okay, mm-hmm. no matter how big your town is, okay, house, there's, house, there, there's house, 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 right? House, 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 right. house. Okay. <laughs> now, you know, we say we, we, we want to plumb for the right customer. You know, we, we get, it gets a little deeper here, okay? You know, what, what kind of customer is that? It's not just a customer that has plumbing. Just because they have plumbing <laughs> doesn't mean, or want you to do plumbing work, mm-hmm. doesn't mean that they're the right customer for you. Okay. What okay? do you mean? Mm-hmm. So we, we want to plumb for a customer that mm-hmm. values, all right, the quality over economy. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So someone that's just looking for the drop dead, gee, my uncle's brother's butcher's second cousin twice removed could have done this for... 10 bucks. Right. Exactly. Right. Or, um, is just, is all about just getting the plumbing work done. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, just, I'm just getting installed. He just want, wants to get it fixed. Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, in, in, you know, plumbed and installed, you know, mm-hmm. like for example, working for a general contractor. Oh, okay. I see where you're build, going. Building okay. homes. So you're you know, not talking so necessarily about a homeowner. You're talking about, right. yeah, a GC or, or something. Got it. Right. Well, <laughs> even it gets to because, you know, the, the GCs don't value, as we look at that, they don't value um, quality no. over economy. Yeah, they want it done right. You know, yeah. I, I hear the argument. Okay. Oh, I want the best. No, they don't. They want the bottom dollar. Bottom dollar. The bottom dollar. Every okay. time. Okay. And so we, we, get, we get caught up in that game. Also, you know, I get this, you know, a lot, a lot of jobs does not, equal a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's another thing, you know, again, we're we're in in a mindset here. 
Well, I got I got a lot of jobs. I got all these house, you know, houses to build. Remodels, houses, right. yeah, new construction right. houses. Right. I got the that, whole track. That I'm getting from this one guy, mm-hmm. okay, <laughs> or one company, mm-hmm. right? That's that's this one customer. That's one customer, right. Okay. Even though he may have 100 houses in the neighborhood that he's developing, you know, or you know, being a part of the development, it's still just one customer who's making right. the decision. And I don't know if I'm going to tell this story. A business that we had years and years and years ago, long, even before plumbing, gosh, he have been an entrepreneur forever. Um, but, um, and we, um, are, <laughs> the customers that we had were retail stores, like a Target, a Walmart, Meyer in some areas. All, yes, yep. um, you know, what are some other, Kmart. Shop, Shopco's, yeah. up for, you know, yeah. Yeah, all those type of um, big box retail stores. Um, and so those were our customers, but it was the buyer the one buyer in the corporate headquarters that made the decision. So even though we may have had 50 target stores, we really had one customer. It was the customer, I'm sorry, it was the buyer for all those stores, right? And so we make that one person mad. We just lost 50 stores or if, or if they, you know, we got outbid or, or whatever it was. Right. And so it wasn't like we had all the individual stores to make them happy and the store manager make that person happy. No, 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 no. It was only the buyer. So that's the difference. It's kind of the same. same right. When you say <laughs> very, very much the same. And okay. I can say that because we lost a few of them because one, I remember one, we were outbid and another one, Richard decided to take the, <laughs> to, be uh, a <laughs> ch- challenge the buyer in a very public way. So right. and then we lost that account. We literally lost um, a couple million dollar account. Yeah, I mean, just, so, just like that. And it was and it was over ten. It was over ten cents. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, sorry, cents, I'm not right. I'm not exaggerating. It was over. It was over ten cents. Ten cents over the product that we were were doing. Right. So we lost a few hundred stores. Right. Mm-hmm. So this this feeling of having customers, and I, I say all the time, look, you know. I, I, I hear it all. I'm, I'm doing million dollar houses and these guys love me and blah, blah, blah. I can come into your area and do it for $10 less and I can get the job. Mm-hmm. Now I'm exaggerating there a little bit more, mm-hmm. but I, that's what happens. I can buy, I can buy the work. That, There's that's, no loyalty. Right. That's not the customers that, that you want. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? You, you want customers, you want lots of customers and that's residential service. Right. Okay? And also if you have a customer, a residential service customer that is just... It, in, um, impossible to deal with and just irrational and just whatever you can cut that customer loose and all you've lost is one customer. Right. So, right. Anyway. So the value, it gets down to that, you know, the value quality over economy. Mm-hmm. And, and yes, the customer is going to ask you how much does it cost and you know, that, that kind of stuff. Sure. That, that's just a good, that, that's just a, a good question to ask. I mean, mm-hmm. um, a common question. A, a com- right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But they want it, want it taken care of. Right. Next, you want a customer, okay? The right customer is someone who... Pays today, <laughs> okay? Because this kind of feeling of um, even the, the sense that there's not enough customers is coming out that you're really, we're running through the customers that we have. We're, we're running through them and there's a sense and, and we're billing them. And it's really Maybe. the bottom line, right? The bottom line is, or it's down the line here, is that you're not making enough money. Mm-hmm. That's the sense of why there's not enough customers. Right. And I need I need more customers so I can do more jobs so it, you know I get more money. Mm-hmm. But we're not we're not working for the customers that pay us today. Mm-hmm. All right. Always work for the customer who's going to pay you at the end of the job, happily right. pay you at the end of the job, right? right? Through credit card, cash, check. I don't know, people still use checks or whatever. So credit card, obviously, I'm gonna assume ninety percent of your customers are wanting to pay pay by credit card. If you don't have a credit card, a way to process a credit card. Stop what you're doing, pause this episode, and go get, I think Square, square square.com is the easiest. They send you the little swipey, swipey thing, and you're good to go. You have to be able to accept credit cards. You have to be able to. Right. So So I'm back to, that's why I said, you know, the subtitle can be, you know, stop thinking like a plumber Mm -hmm. and start thinking like a plumbing business owner which, or CEO, which you are, which, which you are. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's, it's this mindset of the job does not equal just cause I have work that I'm, that I'm making money. Mm-hmm. And, and really, again, it's the thought that I'm not, the money's not coming. I don't have the cash. Right. Okay. That, that gives me the sense that there's not enough customers. Mm-hmm. We, we see, we see, we have clients that are in literally they're in, you know, Timbuktu, mm-hmm. you know, the North pole, and literally the North Pole, okay? They're literally the North Pole, and they're having five hundred thousand dollar plus months. Mm-hmm. So, and that's an area where there's like there's no there's, you know, there's really no it's just reindeer and elves. Mm-hmm. 
So there's no plumbing customers. Based on everything that we taught them. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, based on, right. Yes. Based on, but it is, and it's, you know, through these processes, right. right. But that's another thing. It's just, a, you know, you don't have to be in a large market. Well, Correct. of course you can make, there's lots of customers, you know, you make in money in LA like, or right, Chicago. Right, large market. Or, no, mm-hmm. we're talking even small, you know, just small market. Mm-hmm. It's just the right, you know, working for the right customer. Yes. Okay. And if you're not getting paid today, if you're waiting for your money, um, you're, lo- you're losing money. You say it all the time, cash, um, cash flow. Is ki- what, wait, cash what flow you, is king. Yes, right. cash like, flow. you know, with the saying cash yeah. is king, but really cash flow, cash flow is, is king. king. Right. All right. Um, yeah. So if the money in the bank. If you're having to wait 30 days for your money, did this is supply house waiting, right? Um, to fill up your the truck, the trucks with gas, are they waiting? Is your plumber waiting? Your your staff are they waiting to get paid? Nobody's waiting to get paid. Why should you wait to get right. paid? So so really, like the, busting this myth, it's not that there's not enough customers. It's just you're not. You're just not putting the, getting the money in the bank. Right. I mean, that's really what, what's happening here. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of customers. Think about it, guys. When, right. If you do collect, you know, on some jobs you do collect, other ones you're like, oh, I'm going to bill or whatever. It doesn't feel so good at the end of the job that someone hands you money and it goes into your bank account that very day, right? There's That's a sense of security for sure. Okay. Yep. There so we go. Get paid today. So the next part, okay, <clears throat> we know what mm-hmm. customer we're going after. Okay. Point number two, mm-hmm. need to attract the right customers. Okay. Okay, you got to mm-hmm. attract the right customers, okay? Mm-hmm. I, this is not PC, and I say this. People judge a book by its cover. Okay, yep. ooh, I just, you just hurt my feelings. Nah, All right, it. put a helmet, yeah, helmet put on. Put a helmet on. All right, you know, <laughs> okay? You know, people judge a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. They don't care how good of a plumber you are. In fact, they expect you to do plumbing, okay? And they are judging you, okay? So if they see, if you're showing up in a piece of crap truck. Well, can we back they, up they, a little bit? Right. From the moment they may... Um, see your truck on the road right. from the moment that they see anything online about you from the moment um, that you answer the phone or how your, your your company answers the phone that's when they're starting to judge and then when you show up in a piece of crap truck right right okay mm-hmm. and you know you, you got your jeans on and I you know I, I got my got mil- pipe, pipe mil- dope all over Milwaukee it. t-shirt on mm-hmm. and I got piped on but I'm a working man mm-hmm. what again we're thinking like a plumber yep. okay we're, we're thinking like a plumber mm-hmm. People are judging, are, your customers are judging you. Right. Because okay. it looks like your quality of work has gone down because you, right. you don't take any pride in yourself or your business. Right. Right. You, you show up and you're looking like that. You're like, okay, well, he's going to be cheap because he looks like he should be cheap. So, right. So, you're attracting the, the customers, mm-hmm. okay, that, that aren't going to buy, or aren't looking to buy. Right. Okay. They aren't, aren't, you know, and if they are, they're expecting you to do it for nothing. In fact, mm-hmm. they're expecting you to pay them. <laughs> Okay, because you look Light like that. You're, you're lucky I even let you in my house mm-hmm. looking like that. Mm-hmm. And, and that's how, that, guys, you, you got to get, get over yourself. Yep. Again, the, you know, the subtitle here is stop thinking like a plumber, mm-hmm. okay, and start thinking like a plumbing business owner, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. And so it, it's very important if you want to attract, you want to attract customers too. Look, uh, no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber, okay? So what are they doing? They're, you know, they're going to go into their, their, their smartphone mm-hmm. and, you know, plumbers near me, you yep. know, mm-hmm. and then what, what pop, you know, what pops up. So you got, you got to be there as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then when they check you out, you got to look like, you know, you're this side of uh, death warmed over, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? they, Cause there, there's value in having nice looking trucks, having nice right. looking uniforms. So think about it again, like Richard said, um, you, you customers pull up online and then the, they're not just going to click the button and call you. They're going to go and look, what does it feel like? People go by their feelings. So if they land on your Google, my business page and you've got a bunch of pictures of torn up yards and um, crappy truck or just nothing that, that will draw the, the customer in, you've lost them. You've totally lost them. When someone lands on your Google, my business page, they better see a nice looking truck, friendly technicians, smiling, uniformed. Um, and then your other, their trucks parked in front of Mrs. Jones's house, all the things that's going to make them feel comfortable. They do not feel comfortable by seeing a yard all torn up with dirt everywhere, a, a backhoe right. in the, in the yard. Cause they're thinking, Oh my gosh, oh, but that's showing, that's showing what we can do. We don't care. Mrs. Jones does not care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She wants someone who doesn't look like you're, they're going to get attacked when you, when you show up to the house. Right. So, so she's, so she's passing by, by you. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm the best plumber in town and we've been, we've been serving, you know, we've been serving the North pole forever mm-hmm. and, and they pass right by and they go to Rotorooter. Mm-hmm. Cause no. Rotorooter feels safe. 
Right. Feels safe. By the way, are there other big companies in your town? Are there other plumbing companies in your town? What do you even go? No, I say big. Mm-hmm. Are there other plumbing companies in your town? Well, there must be some customer somewhere. There must be. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. But every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumbline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in a truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. They, and, and if there's a big yeah. company, you know, if there's a Rotor Rooter or some of the other, you know, Ben Franklin, whatever, if there's some bigger companies, these bigger companies do market research and they don't just open up um, an, an office or a shop in an area where like, well, there's no customers. I don't know if there's, we're going to get any, you know, market out of this or whatever. Right. Of course not. They, they spend millions of dollars in market research to determine where to, to have shops and where to open up business. Right. So if you do have some larger competitors, then that says there's a crap ton, crap ton of customers. Right. So again, we're back to stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner and think, you know, why, why would, why would someone want to use me right. in, in my, my plumbing company? How am I going to attract right, the perfect right. customer? Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's looking good. The branding mm-hmm. um, is so important. I okay. swear, if there's any of you that have that stupid um, guy sitting on the talk. toilet on the driver's side door. I, you might as well just say, I'm a <laughs> hack. I'm a hack. And I work for free. Right. And there's, right. I provide no value. And everybody's like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's funny. And I'm pro- I'm, you probably aren't able to charge more than 80 bucks an hour or something. Right. Ugh. Right. And and, um, for, and another thing, it's like. <laughs> She's on, all right, the lovely Laura's on a roll. It, you're, yeah. you're demeaning your profession. And the plumbing profession is a honorable, needed profession. And so all that crap with you guys with, with those type of trucks or even sharing that kind of stuff online or walking around with butt, you know, butt crack plumber stuff, you're, you're lowering the profession. You're lowering it. Knock it off. Right. It ticks me off every time. Right. I mean. Be, don't be a, a hack. Right. Don't be a hack. Ugh, right. Sorry. But again, the right customer doesn't want that in their home. Oh, so, the right customer. Hold right. on. I'm on a roll. I've been sick for like a week and a half, and like today's the first day I feel better. So right. the, the right Look customer out. does not want to have that truck with the guy sitting on the toilet on the driver's side sitting in, in their driveway. They don't want it. They don't want it. Um, they don't want their neighbors to see some idiot in, with a truck with somebody sitting on a toilet. They don't want that. They, they want to, they want to project to their neighbors. Hey, I, I got a quality plumber out here. I maybe even spent a little bit more or whatever. They don't want to see some, you know, drip grease, you know, oil dripping, smoke flying piece of crap truck in their driveway. <laughs> Sorry. So, I feel so I much better. <laughs> do you feel better? I do. Right. Hey, it's, it's so, it's, you know, these, these things are so simple. And part of it is we, we've, we've dealt with, with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of plumbers now mm. with, with this. And we, we see it. And it, this isn't rocket science. No. And so busting this, having enough cut. There's plenty of customers out there. Mm. Like, and, 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 you know, we, we, just, what, we, came, we just came through the pandemic and all that. And all, the, all life was shut down. All businesses were shut, shut down. Mm-hmm. Except for essential, which, by the way, all work is essential. All jobs are essential. But... They needed plumbing. Right. And, you know, we saw our clients actually grow during these times. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And so. Because it's essential. Plumbing pl- is essential. There's plenty of customers. Yes, plenty. Okay? There's, yep. there's, there's plenty of customers. Mm-hmm. But, but you got to go at it the right way. You got to right. stop thinking like a plumber. All right. I don't mm-hmm. care if you've been. Sadly, you know, we talk, we talk to guys that, you know, they're uh, about pushing my age or they're, they're in their 50s, 50s or whatever. And I've been mm-hmm. in business. I've been a master plumber for blah, 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 blah. And I've been in business for 25 years and all that. But you're st- but your butt's still in the truck. Right. Something ain't I right. I can't. There's just not enough customers. And there's, you know, <clears throat> all, you know, you just aren't doing the right things. Right. You look like crap. You're going to attract crap. Mm-hmm. You know, you look like crap. You go, you're going to push away those that, that are looking, you know, for security. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and value. Value in their home. Right. All right. Exactly. Like, hey, it's, it's that, it's that simple. Mm-hmm. All right. Back. This is a good, Hey, what? if you're still with us here, if we haven't <laughs> t- 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 you off so much or you got so scared, okay. <laughs> looking for a safe place. All right. I have something for you here. Check it out. Hey, plumbing pro. You wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. 
Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right, <laughs> welcome back. Okay, have, have you calmed down? No. Okay. No, <laughs> right. I'm feeling feisty. <laughs> All right, you're feeling Truly, I was de- almost on my deathbed with some cold. It was just a cold. But yeah, yeah. down and out for almost a week and a half. And boy, I'm, I'm feeling like me again. So. All right. Ooh, Woo-hoo. look out. I know. Okay, the lovely Laura what is else back. <laughs> All right, baby. Hey, well, we're myth busting here. Okay, and we're mm-hmm. busting the myth, debunking the myth that there's just not enough customers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot to say something. Um, follow us online. That was the thing I was supposed to say out of the, the little break. Follow us online. If you, um, you know, love us. Give us a great review. If you hate us, just move on. Just go away. Um, but yeah, leave us a great review. Follow us on YouTube and you know subscribe on YouTube. There should be a YouTube button um, to subscribe and go give us um, some thumbs up on iTunes and all the things. We'd really appreciate it. That's right. All right, brother. Share the okay. love. Mm-hmm. Okay, brotherly right. love. Sorry about that. So yeah, all we right. were talking about Mythbuster. Not an, yeah, one of the myth myth busting things were is yeah. not enough plumbing customers. Point one was plumb for the right customer. Second right. was attract the right customer. What do you got for number three? Million number three, plumber? schedule for today. <laughs> We've never said that before. This is, <laughs> I mean, we're actually, you're pushing customers away, the ones that call. You know, in, in over 30 years of being in, in this plumbing game and, you know, having our own plumbing business and growing, I mean, just being around it. Guys, guys, there's never, there's this sense, this feeling that there's never enough customers, mm-hmm. okay? There, right. uh, again, um, you know, you, you can help get by that. If we get the money now, that, that helps with all that because, that you know, money in the bank helps. helps Solves a lot of problems. Y- yes, it does, mm-hmm. okay? But no matter how big you get, um, whether you're one truck to 100 trucks, okay, there's always guys, sit, you know, sitting or whether well, there's a sense, I need, you know, I need customers, right, mm-hmm. okay? okay. And, get, and get the customers, okay? Mm-hmm. Schedule, no matter how many, how many calls you get, how many customers do call you today, okay, or whatever, if it's important to schedule the, every customer for today. Yep. See, that's the problem we get to is the sense that there's not enough customers. And, and reel me in if I get, go off the deep end here. I okay. mean, but I'm trying. It, it, this, this is a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a simple fix, but it is kind of complex. You know, there's these waves, okay? And what happens is we, we don't complain there's not enough customers, when we are on the wave, when there's a lot customers are calling. Right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But what we do is we push all those customers off for the, throughout the week. Right. And try to fill up our schedule. Oh, that feels so nice and safe and secure. And so it's like we, a warm blanket. So when we do hit those weeks, when it's spring break week or back to school week or just weird weather or Holiday. something happening mm-hmm. and, and there's only a couple calls, there's just aren't any customers out there. <laughs> okay. But we ruined it. We, We've ruined the opportunity. We've missed the opportunity of riding the wave to the next wave and, mm-hmm. and growing, okay, mm-hmm. um, by not scheduling the customer for today. Right, scheduling appropriately. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so what does that look like? Well, you know, a guy will say, well, it's just, just me and, you know, it's just me and a helper in a truck or whatever, just me or me and another guy or whatever. I can't, you know, t- I can't, can't do all these 10 calls a day and I'll tick them off and make them mad and all that and, and we won't work for the week. No. Okay, what it look, you're going to schedule every call for today, mm-hmm. all right? Then you're going to triage the calls, which means you're going to prioritize. You're, you're prioritize the calls, mm-hmm. okay? Just like you do in a hospital, okay? You, you walk in with a cold. The lovely Lord walks in with a cold, you know? I'm going to be there till Right, and because someone comes yeah. in that has a heart attack or, or worse or whatever, even though she's been waiting there for an hour, they're going to go to the head of the line, mm-hmm. all right? Because it's, it's more important. Their priority. Okay, Priority in your business is money. Money. Okay. Again, the subtitle, stop thinking like a plumber. Mm-hmm. The, the work. There's this one called it. I got work. This is the work I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And start thinking like a plumbing business owner. Show me the money. Mm-hmm. I want the money. Okay. That's, that's the difference there. So we're going we're gonna to prioritize the calls that, that are money calls. So that sewer smell call. I've got a rotten egg smell somewhere in my house. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you probably know it's the hot water, you know, anal rod or something like that, or, you know, mm-hmm. and you can figure dry, dry but that, So that's a little, you know, all right. And even though, you know, she called in at 730, right when you got in the shop or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. 
But at eight o'clock, no hot water call. You know, we got no hot water, mm-hmm. or my water, my water heater. You know, we walk out. You know, I no hot water, and I noticed, and we went and checked it, and it was it's water all over the floor. Mm-hmm. Hello, that's, that's a money call. <laughs> We're going to that call. Yes. Okay. You Every got, time you got to go to that call. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're a dead man plumbing if you don't. Right. Okay. Dead man plumbing. So we're scheduling for today. Schedule for today. Okay. Right. And, and even if you are doing some new construction, which, you know, hopefully you're phasing that out. But if even if you are doing some new construction, I know we said this recently in one of the potty talks, um, is if you're on a, a new construction job and a residential service customer calls in with anything, anything at all, you leave the new construction or the remodel or whatever it is job and you go take care of the residential yep. every single time. Yep. Because they're going to pay you today, right. and cash flow is king. It's that simple, right? Mm-hmm. We see that, you know, you know, with with our clients and even even you know academy students, um, you know, with this with the customers where they're pu- actually they're they're throwing customers away. Mm-hmm. You're getting plenty of calls. Right. You, you, there's plenty of plenty of customers, but it's no. I gotta I gotta go do this finishes remodel. You know, or, or, you know, yeah, but or, water heater call comes in a backed up drain. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're busy. Leaking today. Tub and shower we're, we're busy today. Yeah. I can't get out today. Oh, uh, that's just stupid. Okay, man, guys do right. this for a month. If you have, if, if this is you do this for a month and notice how your cash flow changes notice. Right. And then as you, as you're getting more residential service customers, the less new construction um, jobs that you need. Right. Cause word of mouth, you're probably advertising a little bit more, all of that, that it, the new construction can go away it, right. and should go away. Should go away. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. If you, if you do new construction, you're a dead man plumbing you are. period, mm-hmm. you know, and what happens is you, you, this all builds on itself. Mm-hmm. There's, pl- there's plenty of customers, but you got, you got to start at the very beginning. You got to take the customers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take all the customers in, you're triaging the calls, you're getting the money in the bank. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you're able to, to make it through those, you know, Different those, cycles. Those cycles or whatever. Okay. And there's plenty of customers. Yep. Okay. Okay. If, if you work yes. it right. Exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Great episode. So we are but busting myths for part episode. And today's was not enough plumbing customers. So this is part one. Not. Got, got more. So stay tuned. All right. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Hey, if you're looking, you, you want more insight. Okay. And want to learn more. Hey, let's have a conversation, all right? Schedule your free strategy call. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call mm-hmm. and schedule your call. We'll have a conversation, okay? We'll find out what's, what's holding you back, mm-hmm. all right? And get you pointed in the right direction. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, it's great having you here, mm-hmm. all right? If you're still, still with us here, the lovely Lord, you are on a roll. I just feel so much better. It's good to have you back, what all you right? Piss and vinegar? Piss and vinegar. I just cussed. I thought it was grit and grace, but oh, I guess that, that was more like piss and vinegar. <laughs> <know>. <laughs> All right. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>